Hi guys, hope everybody's doing really well today. Uh, today is the first car boot of the year for me. There has been earlier ones, I just didn't bother going. Um, didn't buy too many tools, just a few bits and bobs. So I'll show you what I bought and how much I paid. Um, so yeah, um, I did, Alex will be wondering what, I did tell Alex I bought something for him this morning. He'd be wondering what possibly could be, be here. Well, it's not here, Alex. I got you this beautiful clog with a hook on it so you can hook it on the wall of your shed to start your collection off in that a beauty 50 pence so I'm quite pleased <laughs> quite pleased with that I walked past loads of pottery ones I thought I'm gonna be good to you that'll look lovely in your shed on your clog clog um clog wall right so uh, if, if, if anyone doesn't know we're all collecting their uh, wooden clogs for Alex to send to Holland because they love them there. They absolutely love them and he wants as many as possible sent to him. So that's my first Kabu um, clog edition. Right, so let's move on to the tools. So um, the first thing I bought was this set of, I think, cigarette packet, five cigarettes. Um, I thought the graphics was kind of cool. They were a pound a box. I got this one here as well. Um, I just like the graphics. Terrible subject matter, but I like the graphics. Is that one 10 cigarettes? Yeah, 10 cigarettes. It's amazing that they sold cigarettes in fives. They don't sell them in fives anymore. But anyway, so pound a pop. Um, and off the same seller, um, I bought this as well. This is a tin opener, but with a bottle opener and a tin opener nice and clean the guy was asking 10 pounds i gave him six i gave him eight pounds for the three items uh, the next item i bought was these whistles this one is an unbranded one but the other three are and um, that one says same metropolitan does that say met oh i can't read that i don't know anyway you can read that um made in england whistle <laughs> don't seem to work very well we've got this one which come on this big string um, and this one is a scout a boy scouts whistle made in england <laughs> kind of works and then we've got another big one another one of those so i gave uh, the lady asked 10 i gave it eight pounds for the four three ones with makers and one unbranded one but i don't think that's bad i mean i've got loads of them but uh, whatever um, I bought a brass anvil and what's really cool about this it's a Gretna green anvil it's very mucky um, but it, it's a Gretna green but I've not seen this one with a solid bottom it looks like it's got 50, 50 under there I don't know if you can read it maybe 50, 50 but anyway I paid uh, I think I gave £2 for that I didn't argue she said 2 and I gave her £2 I think that's cheap for a brass anvil Gretna Green, um, I thought that was really, uh, really cool. I do have a couple of uh, Gretna Green Ambles, and I like them. This one's my favourite one, a little tiny Gretna Green one. I reckon this is the earliest, but that's not bad. And for the money, I'm not complaining. Um, that's the thing about car boots is you don't find an awful lot, but what you do find is a lower price. I couldn't help myself, I bought another one of those ladies. I paid four pounds for the lady um, and then that concludes what i bought on the car boot now on the way back there was an antique fair which uh, we're just driving past it i've been there a few times so i decided to pop in and i bought uh, three items uh, four items from the antique fair i bought a set of ladies legs and i can't remember if i've got the exact same one I f I, these just seemed a bit smaller than the one i've got so I don't think they are. I think they're identical. I couldn't help myself. These ones are a bit polished. Oh dear. I've done it again. What do you do? Because they do come in slightly different sizes and different... Oh dear. Okay, I really need to stop buying ladies. Oops. Stop buying ladies' legs. So I paid £10 for those, which is probably too much considering I've already got a pair. But anyway, what can you do? You know, you live and die by your remorse. I bought this little... Um, button hook I just liked it made in made in Paris obviously flicks in I just I just don't know why I liked it I gave five for that I didn't argue 
I paid the money. Um, and then the next thing I bought, oh, hang on one minute, I forgot one thing. And we're back. So I remembered when I bought this plaque, this brass plaque, um, which was five pounds, I bought this off the same chap. Looks like it's air cooler insulation from 1921, I think. So it's a hundred years old, nice little plaque. I bought this little pack of needles for a gramophone, his master's voice. Um, you see the little doggy. Um, I paid a pound for that. So that was a pound off the same guy as that was five. And then my expensive, my very expensive purchase was this little elephant bottle opener. Um, don't know why, but I really like that. It was from an antique stall. And the guy thought it had some age to it, probably from the 20s or 30s, he thought. I mean, there's no way of knowing if it's got much age or not. It kind of looks like Dumbo the elephant, um, but I just liked it. I couldn't put it down. He, he asked £30, which I thought was too much. Um, he asked 30 I offered him 20 he refused. Anyway, we settled on 23 so not too bad not too bad but most of the other purchases i mean that was eight pounds and then those three were eight that was ten six four fifty p five two so it wasn't a lot of money and um, but that was definitely my expensive purchase you'll have to tell me what you think in the comments do you think my little elephant was worth the 23 pounds which is probably about $30, quite a lot of money. But if it's early as he says it is, quite possibly a good buy. I did buy some plates. I bought a set of four plates. The woman was had on them £12, 12 pound down to £6. She said, ignore the price. They're all kind of different, actually. Um, little temples on them. She said, I can have the, the set for five quid, which I think is not too bad so i quite like those um but yeah so i've got a set of a set of chinesey plates um so yeah that was it so that's pretty much everything i bought it was a, wasn't great the car boot this morning and i can't buy those big rusty pipe wrenches for a pound because i ain't got space for them so this is as good as it gets for me i'm afraid oh there's one more thing i want to show you which i forgot about i picked this up um which is kind of cool this is a six inch King Dick, but it's from 1933, I think, which they only made it for the one year. And it's got the um, um, narrow jaws with the inset for the narrower jaw. Um, and now that means I've got um, a, a three and a six. Let me see if I can find it. We're wasting your time. Well, we're wasting your time, not my time. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll pause it, give you a few seconds. There we are, so we're back. Um, so basically I've got three of those sizes now. For some reason this is my 1940 Air Ministry, but in the spanner book it says 1933, so I wonder if it was made earlier and then just stamped Air Ministry, I'm not sure. But, um, but anyway, regardless, a three, four and six, so I'm just missing the nine inch, so... If anybody does have a nine inch with the narrower draw, get in contact. All right, so that was it really. That was my 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 job lot today. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.